Good boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to show this. This has been bugging me for a long time. There are certain items in Daz that uh, the buttons don't come in properly into iClone through Transformer. I'm still not quite sure what the mechanism is as to why, but here's at least some things you can do about it. So uh, this is a tuxedo jacket for Genesis 3. And one of the things that you'll see is if you go to each of these buttons, you'll see they're constructed very oddly. They have this girder thing, and then the button itself is, is kind of parented underneath all of the jacket stuff. Same for the corsage, too. If you bring this stuff in like this, in iClone, I'm sorry, in Character Creator 3, it, it just flies all over the place. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't even line up. So... Um, so what you need to do is you need to unparent each of these. You need to unparent them in a very specific order. You need to go here first and unparent this girder thing first. So you unparent this thing, and then you unparent the jacket or whatever is underneath that girder thing. You unparent that, and then you delete that girder thing. Okay? So you do that for all of these things, and you can do it for the corsage as well. You know, again, I'm unparenting this first thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and unparent um, the actual corsage and then get rid of the girder, okay? So we've done all that for all the things. Let's just assume that that's what's happened. And we export it. And now when it comes into Character Creator 3, a lot of the stuff will be positioned properly. Um, unfortunately, not all of the stuff will be positioned properly. Uh, for example, uh, corsage now is positioned perfectly it's an accessory, and we'll show you how we're going to deal with those in a second, but it's an accessory. It's positioned perfectly on that jacket. So is this one button down here. You can see the jacket button here came in absolutely perfectly. We didn't have to do anything at all. Uh, the cuff buttons, on the other hand, it still came in in a kind of a flyaway mode. Now, they didn't come in as crazy as they would have come in had we not unparented them. They, they came in pretty close to where they needed to be but not completely close. So, for example, uh, three of the buttons would just end up inside of this, of this coat. And uh, so what I have to do is you have to move the buttons a little bit. So that's not difficult. Uh, it, it's not too difficult because they're not in a terribly off order as they would be if you hadn't done this. So we're going to select them. The first thing we always do is we adjust the pivot. So we go to Edit Pivot and set it to the center of that so that we can actually see where the pivot is. And then now we can go ahead and, and move that button to be uh, more or less in the right position. Remember, we can use our various tools to maneuver around the viewpoints to see how we're doing in this process. And uh, like I say, it's not, they're, it's not too bad. It's, it's certainly positioned a lot closer than it would be had we not parented. It, it does beg the question, though, as to why that other button for the suit jacket came in just fine, and and this button did not. Um, so uh, I don't know the answer to that. I really don't. I wish I did. I wish I knew why uh, this uh, the jacket button is fine and these buttons are not. Uh, but it's not terrible. It's just it just requires a little bit of work and effort. And then you have the buttons correct. Now, once you have them all correct, now what you need to do is attach them to the suit properly. So what we want to do, assuming that we wanted to attach all of this, is we're going to select all of the accessories up here. And we go into Modify, and we go to Merge Accessories. So all the accessories are merged into one. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this first. First, we're going to take the jacket and, and convert it to an accessory. And we want to bake the current shape because that's the shape it's already in to fit that character. So we're making everything an accessory. Now we're going to go ahead, select all that, go to modify and merge accessories so that they're all one big accessory, basically. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer the skin weights and we're going to use the default, which is fine, and apply that to that. And now we actually have a cloth item that has all of those things uh, with it. So if we bring the character back and then we go to, uh, to take a pose and do some kind of uh, a male pose here to where he's uh, you know, sitting down or something, then you'll see that the corsage moves correctly, that his button 
on the coat moves correctly there and that the uh, the suit the, the cuff buttons are are correct in the right order so so that's what you can do with these weird items uh, that um, don't come in properly you can unparent them uh, I wish I knew the difference between why this button when unparented uh, comes in at exactly the right place and the sleeve buttons don't uh, I can't find anything in Daz that would uh, change that so I don't know I, I don't I don't know what the answer is to that it's uh, it's beyond my pay grade but at least at least we can accomplish what we can accomplish so hopefully that helps guys and we'll see you around the forums